Right, is to change this uh, spindle, all you need to do is, I know you haven't got this piece on your particular model, but you need to take that off, undo these two screws, they're quite long, they will be in the wall. Then this little cap is missing on this particular one, but it's a little cap that you just flip out, and then undo this screw, like this, and then that pulls off. Now inside there there's two different slots which will marry up with these two slots on this piece. This piece pulls off somehow, oh, that's tight, but that comes off. This then slides off. Put that there. This then comes off. This piece here, you probably have a bit of a trouble getting this off, but it is quite tight, but it does come off. And then you're left with this piece. There's a small washer here that, that stops the drips going through. That, uh, that just comes off and that leaves you a, able to get a flat bladed screwdriver in these screws here. Just be careful that you don't drop them behind the tiles. Pack this round around this kind of area first so that if you do drop the screws you don't lose them. So these unscrew like that. And that one there comes out as well, just about, somehow. there you go. And this piece lifts off, like that, and this is, exposes the gears. Now this is what I think has gone wrong, something on here, one of the gears is either stripped or it's not working. But this piece just lifts out, like that, just keep that on there. This is uh, one bit. There's two screws in the middle here and here. Undo these screws. Just loosen them, don't need to take them right out. This then allows you to gently lever these off. Try not to turn them, keep them straight, but just lever these off. You may not need to take these off, but that's, that's these gears. That's that one and that one comes off there as well. And that's basically it. Um, these two valves should be right um, to the edge. You'll see that when you take them off. But basically just to reassemble it, you need to make sure you turn that one anti-clockwise and this one fully anti-clockwise. If you need to change this one, this one goes anti-clockwise as well. And you can test this by putting in this piece back in here and you should just be able to like and then by turning it that's open and that's closed and that's how you can tell if that's working so all you need to do is just do these back up just so that that actually grips the wheel don't have to over tighten them just enough to splay out the splines and the rest is a complete reversal so that goes on top there, yeah. do up two screws, one, two, again don't need to do them up that tight. Um, this rubber washer then fits over here, it's like a splash guard. This then goes on, fits in just to tidy it all up, make it look nice and that sits on the rubber washer, stops any water going in. I'll just tip that out. This is the only, oh, this bit goes on next. And you can see that there's a small and a large slot. It usually goes top, large at the top. Fit that on there. And then fit that one on there. Put the screw in. Just nip the screw up again. And then it should turn a stop and then turn back to a stop. So that is it basically. Um, so I'll give you the parts and good luck. <laughs>